Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at using the angle addition rules so we can answer questions from exercise 7b. We're going to start off with some few basic examples before we move on to harder videos later on. So in this case here we want to use the formula for sine a minus b to calculate sine 15 is equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. Well how can we get 15 by a subtraction of two other angles? Well, we can do 45 minus 30, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do 45 minus 30, that will give us 15. And we know the exact values for 45, cos and sine, and we know the exact values for 30, cos and sine as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the rule from the formula booklet to expand sine 45 minus 30. And here we are, we've got A is equal to 45, B is equal to 30, and let's just plug in the values and calculating the exact angle values from memory if you if you can remember that <clears throat> and here we get square root of 6 over 4 minus square root of 2 over 4 we've got common denominator fractions here so we can subtract one from the other and in this case we get square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4 which was our answer Good stuff. So you can find other angles using a very similar method here. So for example, sine 75, if you were to add the angles together and use a different formula, you could you could do you could find sine 75 in a very similar way. Okay, so let's move on to another problem then. So it's one of these ones where we've got sine a equal to minus 3 over 5, and a is an angle between 180 to 270. We've got cos b, which is minus 12 over 13, b being an obtuse angle. And what does that mean? That means that it's in between 90 to uh, 180. And we're asked to find the value of tan a plus b. Now, what would be quite useful here is the tan a plus b formula, tan a plus tan b, all over 1 minus tan a times tan b. So what we need to do is, using these two um, these two given statements here to work out the tan of A, tan of B, and then substitute it into this uh, tan A plus B formula. So remember what we do with these is we ignore the negative for now and make a triangle um, 3 on the opposite, 5 on the hypotenuse because that's how the ratio of sine works. And then we use a bit of Pythagoras' theorem to work out the other side here is 4. Then we take tan of the angle, so that's opposite over adjacent. So we know that tan A is 3 over 4. Now we need to think about the sine of tan A. We know that the angle is in between 180 to 270. So on the graph for tan between 180 and 270, we see that it is positive. It's above the x-axis, so it's just going to stay as 3 over 4. If the graph was in between 90 to 180, say, it was, it's going to be negative. And that's just like it is going to be in the part B to this question here. If we take cos B, we know that the adjacent side is 12, the hypotenuse is 13, ignoring the negatives for now. And then we know by Pythagoras the opposite side there is 5. So now when we do tan opposite over adjacent, we get 5 out of 12. And because we know the tan graph is negative between 90 and 180 when the angle is obtuse, we know that tan B is actually going to be minus 5 over 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two values here and here and now plug them into this formula here. So let's go ahead and do that then. So tan A is 3 over 4, tan B is minus 5 over 12. Substitute them into the formula and maybe let your calculator do the most of the work here. You could probably do this by hand if you wanted to, but you get an answer of 16 over 63. Okay, so your turn to have a go at these two questions here then. Very, done in a very similar way. Pause the video and try these two out. Okay, let's start having a go at question 3a then. Express tan of 45 plus 30 in terms of tan 45 and tan 30. Well, this is just applying the tan A plus B rule. So tan 45 plus tan 30, that's going to be tan 45 
plus tan 30 all over and I need a reminder where the negative is, the negative is on the bottom so it's going to be 1 minus tan 45 tan 30 and do remember that these formulas here are in the formula booklet there's no harm in having a look um, for them OK, hence show that tan 75 is equal to 2 plus root 3. Well, that's exactly what we've done in step A. We've done tan 75 is equal to this stuff here. So now we just need to recall these angle facts. Tan of 45 is 1 plus tan 30 is 1 over root 3 over 1 minus tan 45 is 1. So this is going to be 1 over root 3. Let's simplify the denominators here, so it's going to be um, th root 3 plus 1 over root 3, all over root 3 minus 1 over root 3, times top and bottom by root 3, and we get root 3 uh, plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. <clears throat> now we just need to rationalise the denominator here effectively. So times top and bottom by root 3 plus 1, root 3 minus 1, oh, root 3 plus 1 on, on top and bottom as well. So in this case here we're going to get 3 plus 2 root 3 um, plus 1 all over 3 minus 1. So that's going to be 2 on the bottom. We can cancel out factors of 2 on the top and bottom. So we get 2 plus root 3. Good stuff, there we are. So that's how we work out tan 75. OK, uh, given that cot A is equal to a quarter and cot A plus B is equal to 2, find the value of cot, um, of cot B. So, a hmm, bit of a difficult one here. What I'm thinking then is that if we have cot A plus B, then this is going to be the same as 1 over tan a plus b. So in this case here, it's going to be this fraction here, but just twisted upside down. So it's going to be 1 minus tan a tan b all over tan a plus tan b. OK, we'll, we'll work in tans and then we'll just leave our final answer as cot equals something. So given that cot A is equal to a quarter, so therefore we know that tan A is 4. And we know that cot A plus B is 2. Now I've written cot A plus B is correct here, so I'm going to leave that alone. That's 2 equals, and then it's going to be 1 minus 4 uh, tan B all over 4 plus tan b. So now we need to rearrange and simplify. So times it up to the other side, we get 8 plus 2 tan b equals 1 minus 4 tan b. And now if I add the tan b onto the other side, take the 8 onto the other side, I get 6 tan b equals minus 7. Divide through by... 6 and I get minus 6 over 7. So what is the value of cot B? The value of cot B is just minus 6 over 7. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to this question here then. So have a go at a few of these questions here then, but certainly this is not the most difficult part of the chapter when it comes to using the double angle formula. So quickly move on to the next one. Thanks very much for watching.